Hi guys, Jeremy with Four Sons Off-Road. So we got the shop crammed full of little mini trucks here, a couple of customer units that are going out, but today we want to feature this uh, 2000 Suzuki Carry. This is an automatic unit. Um, we've done some upgrades to it as well. Uh, so it's got a, a two inch lift kit on it, uh, as well as a set of 14 inch vision uh, cross alloy wheels with uh, Cooper 195 60R14 uh, mud and snow tires on it as well. So this one's set up basically ready to go for the street. Um, make a nice little acreage unit, you know, farm unit. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't expect to see this thing going out, to, uh, you know, as a hunting unit or a, a mud unit. The three-speed automatics, the, the gearing's just a little too fast on them. They don't have the, the high and low range setting like the five-speed units do, uh, like our little unit right behind it that's got a five-speed manual high low range that's the unit you want uh, you know if you're going to throw off-road tires on it or tracks for sure but anyways on this unit uh, since we've got it in the showroom uh, we're just going to uh, do a kind of an in-depth walk around on it I'll show you some uh, some details on the truck and uh, kind of just go over what we uh, look for when we're buying them uh, as well as uh, you know just a, a few items that uh, that you might uh, have questions about so starting with the exterior of the truck, um, we just did a, a little bit of a rock guard treatment here uh, on the grill, just to give it a you know a different look. Um, kind of makes uh, makes the grill stand out a little bit more, which is nice. And then we matched that uh, kind of on the side panels. Uh, just ran it all the way down the side of the bed, and uh, did the headache rack as well. Kind of just gives the truck a different look, and uh, yeah, it makes it stand out for sure. So. Exterior wise on these units, uh, the beds are a big selling feature. Um, all the trucks we bring in, unless it's got a specialty bed on it, this they have a three side drop side bed on them, which is really nice. You can drop the, uh, the bed sides down, of course the tailgate will drop down as well. And uh, one other really neat feature, of course, is that these uh, the bed rails are just hinge so they will hinge right off. There's a little 10 mil uh, kind of retainer bolt there so you just pull out that 10 mil bolt and then you can literally just pull the side panels off the tailgates the same way and that way you can have like a true flat deck without your side panels kind of flopping around on you. One other thing with these bed latches is they are adjustable so you do have a couple of bolts just on the inside here um, those, if you loosen them off, they are slotted, so you can tighten up your uh, your bed latches if they are, you know, noisy, squeaking, rattly. One other thing, if your bed latches tend to be squeaky, the fix for that, obviously tightening them up helps, but the other fix is having this uh, plastic sleeve on the end there. That is uh, stock, the truck's supposed to have that, so if you're missing that, uh, a lot of times that'll be what is uh, causing your you know those high-pitched kind of squeaks and rattles on the uh, on the truck you can uh, get replacements for those and I highly recommend doing that for sure if your if your truck is kind of squeaky or if you just can't seem to uh, you know get enough tension out of tightening them up to uh, to keep your side latches from popping open one other really nice thing with these mini trucks is they are full of utility features which is really nice so like with these headache racks for example uh, you've got uh, kind of slide retainers on the side if you're sticking something across the top it's not going to slide off you've got attachment points here for straps you've got attachment points for straps there and I mean these are these are solid you're, you're going to move the whole truck uh, strapping onto that headache rack so it gives you a nice spot to, to tie down uh, you know some longer lumber or you know canoe or a boat or anything uh, that you might want to try very similarly the bedsides have uh, your latch points for straps or netting or a cover all across the, the top there and then if you have your bedsides even pulled off you still have attaching points down underneath which is uh, a really big plus very uh, very good little utility units so if you're familiar with uh, mini trucks you'll know the older style Suzuki's had uh, like a replace the removable front panel to get access to your uh, you know like your radiator cap and things like that these little hoods are really nice you just pop them up um, you've got a prop rod here and you just have access to uh, you know a few items that you don't need to get to all the time but your uh, you know brake fluid your uh, coolant uh, overflow tank 
rad cap, you know, washer fluid, even even having uh, access to your uh, uh, wiper motor and, and uh, spray nozzles and stuff uh, is a lot easier on these newer style ones. And then they tuck the jack under here as well, which is a, a nice touch. They stay nice and clean. They don't get all, all rusty and beat up. With these headlights, uh, one little hint. So they are just a standard H4 bulb on this style of truck. Uh, basically just a bolt here, bolt here, and one last thing holding this headlight on is like a steel pin down kind of behind the very back and it goes into like a plastic sleeve just to keep uh, you know the bottom end from being wobbly or falling out. Those tend to get stuck after a while so if you you know take off those two bolts and find your, your headlights loose but it just doesn't want to come out sometimes you just have to work it a little bit work it slowly and uh, hopefully you can you can get enough uh, to pop it out without breaking that little stud off. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what's holding it on behind there in case you're in case you're wondering and can't figure out how to get your headlight assemblies out. Now as far as upgrades on this truck, we did do the, again the 2 inch lift kit on it um, as well as these uh, 14 inch Vision alloy wheels, which uh, look really nice they're in a gunmetal finish and then a set of uh, 195 6014 uh, these are Cooper uh, These are the Cooper ST2 button snow radials so nice grippy uh, tread there soft compound tire and that's the reason we do a winter tire most times if we're doing kind of a, a street slash off-road tire they have a softer compound obviously a little better tread patch on them and in this tire size uh, unfortunately for street tires in Canada that's about as aggressive as we can find they don't make anything much more aggressive than that that we can get our hands on here typically so fully uh, street legal here in Canada so let's have a look at the interior. Now this truck only has about 9,600 kilometers on it. So the interior is really clean. Now something to watch out for uh, with mini trucks, if it's something you're looking to get in, you know, if you're ordering one for yourself, uh, the most common item that we see issues with is the seats. Uh, I, I'm gonna say probably seven out of 10 mini trucks that we that we get our hands on, even the nice clean low mile ones, end up with crack seats. I mean, it's just a, it's just a vinyl seat on these. Uh, you always see cracks, you know, these, these uh, uh, seams tend to pull through uh, as well as it's really common to get, you know, the seams pull through on the side or cracking on the side there. Not the end of the world. Uh, we get, uh, you know, a nice set of custom fit seat covers uh, and we uh, will cover those if the uh, seats are cracked. This truck's beautifully clean, so no issues there. One other thing, especially on the older trucks, you'll see is the, the headliners uh, pull down. Now on these uh, newer style Suzuki's, the headliners are kind of molded, so they they, uh, they fit in there a lot nicer and stay up there. The, the older the older style Suzuki's we see you know quite a bit of them start to sag down and fall away from the from the roof there um, so that's something you know again you can kind of expect or watch out for if you're looking to uh, to pick up a mini truck of your own but uh, this unit of course nice and clean inside it's got the three-speed automatic uh, one of the nice things is it does let you select you know drive second or low which is basically you know one two three uh, so you can, you know, either have it just in first gear, first and second gear, or first, second, third gear, which is a nice feature to have because, again, with the automatic, they are set for economy. So if you have it just in drive, it's typically going to, you know, go to the highest gear, which, uh, so to save yourself for a lot of shifting off-road or around the yard, you can just kick her to low and, and cruise around. Uh, this unit's just got, you know, standard uh, heat and little Japanese radio in there. Now I've got the keys. So having a look at the dash, you can see this truck's got you know under under 9,600 kilometers on it. Pretty basic. One of the nice things with the automatics I find as well is that they have a uh, gear uh, indicator. So it shows you you know your park, reverse, neutral, and then of course drive, second, low. That's kind of a kind of a neat feature. You don't find that on the five speeds, of course. But uh, yeah, other than that, it does have a four-wheel drive light. Now with the automatics, they are a little different from the manuals as well with the uh, four-wheel drive. So the four-wheel drive setup on the automatics is just a straight push button, uh, push button on and off on the fly. They don't have the four-wheel drive high-low range selector uh, lever like the manuals will right here. 
So one other question we get asked about a lot still too is uh, where's the engine? How do you access it? You know, where's your maintenance point? So on most of these little trucks, you've just got your latches, one or two on the front here, pretty straightforward. And then you do have to uh, push a little latch back here to release the, the back of the seat. So I'm just gonna do that, it'll take two hands. So, so once you've got the back of the seat flipped forward, then you can just lift up on the, uh, the whole seat there and then you've got access to uh, on this side you've got access to your dipstick which is right there in yellow and uh, your air box really easy to get to no tools required on the Suzuki's here which is really nice to change out the, uh, the air filter simple even just to check it they're not tucked down underneath or anything so that's a nice feature there's a little tie back right here behind the behind the uh, seat belt and you can tie back the seat so you don't have to hold it up or it doesn't fall on you there. So same setup on this side, just the two latches. And you just flip up your seat. And on this side you have access to your oil fill cap which is right there. The battery here which is really nice on these DB52s having the battery up under the seat. Uh, I really like that versus having it you know, uh, on the side under the box. Typically they just tend to get a little more corroded and beat up on the side. So just right here on these ones, which is a nice feature. So I hope you enjoyed our video today. If you have any uh, questions or comments, make sure you comment on this video. Um, if you'd like to see other features uh, mentioned or, or different things about these trucks, also leave a comment for us and we'll try to do uh, videos featuring that stuff. We'll also try to get a road test on this truck uh, once the weather gets a little bit nicer here and uh, that way you can see how that automatic performs uh, in real life. But yeah, make sure you like this video and uh, check out our website, foursonsoffroad.com for more information.